Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today I will show you like how you can manage your database in a EC2 instance. Like in my previous session, I have showed you like uh, by using AWS RDS, how we can create the database and then how we can connect that to database from the EC2 instance. In this session, I am going to show you like uh, Instead of RDS, right? In the EC2 instance, how we can create our database like MySQL or PostgreSQL or MariaDB or Oracle or Aurora, whatever database you want, you'd like to create, right? How we can create and I will show you like how we can connect that particular database. So today's session, I will talk about MariaDB. MariaDB is kind of fork of from the MySQL. Okay, guys. So if you uh, install the MariaDB, then you will be able to access the MySQL also. Okay, guys. So this is what in previous session we have done by using RDS we have deployed the Postgres. But let's go to the today's session like uh, we'll in EC2 instance. So in my previous session I have already launched this EC2 instance. So how to launch EC2 instance all if you guys not yet watch my previous video, I would recommend like please have a look. So in that session I have already show you how we can create a EC2 instance. So this is the EC2 instance I am going to connect uh, from the mobile stream. So let me go here. Or let me show you how we can connect that newly created. That will be easy. Use the pen file. Now I am in root user, super user. <coughs> so to install the MariaDB, I have already noted down all the steps. So let me go to here. These are the steps. So one more point, keep in mind, guys. So this is to instance what I have launched, right? That is basically <coughs> sorry. I launched from the AMI 23. So if AMI 23 that uh, install MariaDB, that package will be different. And if it is not a 23, then the package will be available like this. So this point just keep in mind. Okay, guys. So let's go to the one by one. So all the right updates. Okay, good. Let's come on. So since I have my instance is 23 AMI. Linux and right? So let's. So meantime, let me show you like how you know like this AMI is 23 or not, right? While you are launching basically issue to instance, right? Let me show you that quickly. Here we used to select that AMI. If you see right, this is the AMI and it's a person has mentioned 23, right? 2023 basically. So if that is the 2023 AMI, then better choose that uh, MariaDB that uh, that's the this option. MariaDB server. OK, guys, install MariaDB server. Now let's enable that MariaDB. So it is done. Now it is that the ship link, like a symbolic book, like soft link. Basically, it is created now. So now let's go to the start the Maria Dim. It is started. Let's see the status. So now it is running. If you see the status is running. OK, guys. So go to here now follow this step secure installation step so uh, basically for the root uh, user for this uh, db right mysql db we we can keep as a none uh, because uh, file install we didn't give anything right? so let's now switch to socket so you can say no need to switch to socket and change the root password if you want to change then you can keep that change password so let's change yes Get the root password what could be the new password then select password 
password change successfully remove anonymous user if you want you can remove also anonymous user if you don't want don't remove also and delete root user login from disable basically if you want to disable you can disable so let's time being we are not this uh, MariaDB you can connect from MySQL workbench also from uh, remote if you want you can enable also remote okay so uh, same way you can connect um, if you just install the MySQL workbench and then give the host name of this EC2 instance host name I will show you what could be the host name for this EC2 instance in the AWS console and then you can utilize that uh, host name okay guys for timing let's select no or maybe if we can enable also so remove the database and access of that uh, feed. So if you want to remove, so let's don't remove and uh, reload the privilege of the table. Let's reload that all the privilege. Now MariaDB is done. OK, guys, so now what we can do if you want to log in. So let me once installation done, right? So we can connect this. So you that. MySQL, how we can connect. So password, let's keep the. So we are good to connect, right? So. Databases, so these are the databases we have, right? So. Like this MySQL we have, then uh, information schema we have, performance schema we have. These are the data. OK, guys, so like this, we can do that. Uh, so up to this, this is good to connect the MySQL. And once we install that MariaDB, now we are able to connect the MySQL, right? So this is how we can connect. So this is done. So now these have the step for if you want to do that uh, remote enable, like if you want to connect from this, uh, this particular uh, issue to instance from that um, uh, MySQL workspace kind of thing. Right? Then these are the steps we need to follow. So you guys can try this, uh, this all these steps. I will give in this video a link to this description so you can take this all this and you can try. Let me show you that host name, how you can get it from the issue to instance. So let me show you that. So this is the issue to instance. If you go here, so this either you can take the public IP or maybe you can have the endpoint DNS or you can take the DNS, anything is fine. Either public IP or uh, DNS. While you are connecting from that uh, MySQL works, right? you can try like this. OK, guys, so I hope this will helpful to you guys. Uh, if you like this session, uh, please uh, do like, comment, and share with your friend, and please subscribe my channel. That would really inspire to me. And uh, while you are doing practicing, if you get any stuck or any error, Please put that error to this video comment section. I will address that. Okay, guys. Okay, see you in my next video. Shadow bye.